What's up and welcome to an episode of Gizmo Slip. Today, we're gonna find out if an iPhone 10 can survive a 100 foot drop inside of some form of toilet paper. It's gonna be freaking epic. Well, let's get started. Shout out to Bryson who always would hop on my streams and say, drop an iPhone inside of a roll of toilet paper. So, this is your video. Congratulations, man. I can't seem to figure out uh, which one is the best here. We need to go get a ruler. Figure this out. All right, four and three quarters inches. We're looking at four and a half inches for the Scott 1000. We're looking at uh, 3.75 inches on the Charmin. That's that's just not it. What about this Mega Ultra Plus? What's going on here? Oh, we are pushing five inches. Ooh, okay, we have a winner. Charmin Ultra Soft Mega Plus, not sponsored. I'm about to have a bunch of stuff thrown at me, I can feel it. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I thought it was like a snowball. I guess this is the Mega Plus, you know? Yeah. You don't mess around with the Mega Plus. <laughs> anyway, so I've got this brand new iPhone 10. And of course, Carla is back there just craving this toilet paper. We always buy the cheap stuff. She calls it rich people toilet paper. <laughs> rich people toilet paper. $17 for this much. This is ridiculously expensive. You like wiping money on your butt. <laughs> money on your butt. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not gonna fit. It needs about another half inch or so and it'll fit in there. Let's go ahead and see if we can just cut this open. That actually works surprisingly well, I think. Nice. I think this is the sort of thing you would definitely throw in your pocket and carry around with you everywhere you go. I mean, it's... Bust it out of Starbucks. Right, it's perfect for those people that run around with those 90s cargoes pants with the giant pockets. Shout protection. out to all you Jinko folks. I was thinking two might be the better option, honestly. No iPhone would be exposed. I could see officially if it's in here this loose. It's just like falling through the air, it just goes, Fong! <laughs> I, <can see. laughs> I think that's a likely outcome. Like that, you think? Yeah, just like that. I think that is the optimal way of doing this drop test. Do you think it will live? Post your in the top right. Let's go try this out. The other big news, I've got the drone back. So we're back to doing 100 foot drop tests. So that thing is repaired, it is ready to drop some stuff. Let's, let's go drop some stuff. <laughs> we hit my car. Oh my god. Oh, no. Holy crap. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> it's, it's settling in now. He's like, huh. huh. We did it. Okay, huh. but the question is did the iPhone survive? It's gotta have survived, right? Let's, let's look at the slow mo. Let's right. look at the slow mo. Because my truck is hit by this bomb from the sky. Oh my god. You can god. see the shadow coming down. Oh, you can't. Oh my god. It nailed the back little hump that sticks out of my tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed, oh nailed your car, god. man. Pretty much dead on. That's amazing. Okay, I have a feeling this did good. I just, I, I mean, it's. I mean, we're talking about Mega Plus. <laughs> it's true. I think, is, I think I've been more this concerned. This is the softest. I'm just curious, you know, if we did like the one ply McDonald's toilet paper. <laughs> it's <laughs> also a good question. Also a good question. Looks like it's just fine. Cosmetically. Let's go and try turning it on. And yes. There we go. We are on. It is functional. Boom, boom, boom. That's a survival. Well, there you go. iPhone 10 can survive. No problem inside of a Mega Plus Ultra. This is like a giant pillow, man. You can just make a bed out of this stuff, you know? It survived. Uh, much to our not surprise. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Brandon and Darren out. Word. Woo. I need a woo. Woo! Okay. I need a double woo!